So, how'd you guys meet? I'm kind of the reason that these people met. And posting about meeting this girl. I, Drew used to take these drives every now and then. At this coffee shop. That's a true friend. I'm not a bubble. I'm nervous, but yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Oh my gosh. You look so pretty. <laughs> oh no, it's too mm. hot. Okay. Oh, this is coming off. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry. It's okay. Too tough of a hug. What's funny is like my maid of honor is actually the reason we met because she was on Bumble and she told me about like this really cool guy. <laughs> And it was Halloween night, I remember. And she's like, you should download it. And um, I did that night, and Drew was my first and only match, and it was his first match. Oh, so. Yeah, but with the funny, you'll hear this at the reception. The funniest part about all this is that, like, there's no reason we should have matched up because she was in Atlanta. We matched up and, like, met up, and then uh, we decided that we wanted our story to be, like, just like stupid, like corny. And so we were like, let's just make up a story and I'll tell everyone the story. And I told Austin it and he fell for it. And so everyone was sold that like we had met at a coffee shop in Atlanta. I've literally been like ready. I'm like, come on, what the heck? How are you? I'm good. Was your morning good? Yeah. Yours. You look beautiful. You, you look feel so beautiful? Good, so, yes. You feel beautiful? I, I love your necklace. <laughs> you want to read our notes? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Mel. Today's the day. I've always known it was you. I've, I prayed and prayed for God to give me the discernment. And then you came along. I have no doubts about us, and all of the heartache, trials, and tough times of our lives have led us here. I can't wait to tackle the rest of our lives together. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. <laughs> oh my, you look gorgeous. Oh, I love you, baby. I love you. Dream. I have dreamed of this day for a long time. Being a little girl, I imagined the dream guy that I would marry and spend my life with. I've never been more certain that I found the guy that I've dreamed of. I know that it was God's hand in every step of the way to allow us to meet. Oh, I got a dream. <laughs> okay, no more turn paper. Okay, I knew when you stepped out of your Highlander in Atlanta that my life was going to change in the best way because of the peace that I felt. Drew, you're my person, my light, my best friend. I know that God handpicked and made us for each other. I've never understood how home could be a person until I met you. Oh my goodness, you look great. <laughs> I don't want to mess your makeup up. No, you're okay. Friends, we are gathered together in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of Drew and Melanie. Oh, wow. <laughs> you look amazing. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're gonna make me cry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Proud of you. Oh, I love you too. Love you too. <laughs> this is your high point moment right here. And this is such a wonderful moment. God is in this moment. I want you to stop for just a second and just rest in this moment. Would you take a mental snapshot of each other just for a second, just the two of you. You're taking that mental snapshot because after today, you'll go on a honeymoon and then you'll come back to your ordinary everyday lives. It's in the ordinary everyday lives where the promises you make right here 
will be shown for what they are. So in my almost nine years of doing weddings, I have always offered for couples to write their own vows and I've never had anyone take me up on that until today. So Drew, if you would like to start. Yeah. They're in here. All right. Whew. All right. Mel, I've never been the most optimistic guy in the room. I have lived life overthinking every decision in my life, but from the moment we met, I never had a doubt about you. Leaving our first date, I knew you were someone very special. I remember just always looking forward to the next time that I got to see you. The next time we would get to talk together, laugh together, sing together, uh, be together. I was always just looking forward to time with you. Now as we begin the rest of our lives together, I promise to never have a doubt about us. I promise to love you unconditionally and without hesitancy. I promise to run to you with open arms when you're hurting and open my heart when I am as well. I promise to be your greatest supporter and your best friend. No, I don't want to live a day without you in my life, so I promise that I'll love you until my life's end. No matter what life throws at us, my love will always be steadfast and never end. I love you. <laughs> Drew, I knew from the moment I'm sorry. I knew from the moment you stepped out of the Highlander in Atlanta that you were someone really special. Looking back, I know it was a piece that I had in the moment because you would be the one. The way you looked at me that day and look at me every day makes me feel like I'm the only girl in the room. The past two years learning and growing with you have been everything I could have ever dreamed of and more. Drew, I promise to stand by your side in every high and low of life, to dance with you with when any Ed Sheeran or swing dancing song comes on. <laughs> To be your cheerleader in every endeavor and every passion you pursue. To be your shoulder to cry on, to laugh on, to rest on. To learn and to grow with you in every season of life. To always make you feel seen and cared for. To challenge you to be the best version of yourself. To dream with you, to hold you, and to keep falling for you. And to love you unconditionally as God loves us. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Culpepper. You may now kiss the bride. So one day I was driving down the road talking to Mel and uh, we, you know, tried the day naps, but I had a good experience, and so I was like, this is going well, all this stuff, and I was like, you know what, maybe I should give this a try again, and so that night, she matched with Drew on Bumble, <laughs> and since then, the rest is history. <laughs> My, my story is a little bit different than, than how she found out about them being together. Drew wanted to hype it up a little bit for me. One day.
day, I noticed that Drew, as you do, check your friend's location just to see where he was that day. And he was in Atlanta, just absolute random day in Atlanta. I was like, oh, nice. And I decided to ask him when he came back, dude, you just dipped to Atlanta? He's like, yeah, I just took a drive. Um, I was like, that's good, that's good. He's like, yeah, but dude, the craziest thing happened. I was like, well, like, what happened? He was like, man, on the way back, I decided to stop by a coffee shop. And uh, when he ordered the coffee, he turned around, there was nowhere to sit. Uh, all the spaces were full, and so he was looking around, and then there was this one girl that noticed him. And was like, hey, which knowing you now, this would absolutely never happen. But, <laughs> hey, would you like to sit down with me? <laughs> this is what he said. And in, my mo in this moment, I'm like, there's absolutely no way, but that's amazing. Uh, this is a movie right now. Um, and then I, I found out that it was not how they met. It was, it was through Bumble, but it was an amazing story, and I was fully convinced. She's the sweetest soul and kindest human. And I just love the way you look at her, so I fully approve. I wish you all the happiness and joy to come. Um, and I am incredibly proud of you. I don't know if I say it enough, but I, I hope that you know that you are someone who inspires me every day when it comes to my work, uh, the way I spend time with my friends, um, and just life in general. So cheers, sorry. Cheers to them. My man.